As the weather turned cold this winter, I slowly realized how outdated and baggy all of my current sweaters were. So I decided that I wanted a full revamp of my warm sweater collection with comfy pieces that are also edgy enough to dress up. In the spirit of keeping things simple and capsule, I'll be using a few pieces in the entire video in rotation, which I'll link to in the description. This first top was the first one I tried on and it was a winner. It's so, so cute and I don't think anyone knows about it because when I bought it, there were zero reviews on the Abercrombie website. It looks kind of frumpy in the photos, but in real life, it's so flattering and well-made. I loved wearing this with my favorite pair of wide leg trousers that I got years ago. I couldn't find the exact link online, but I found two alternatives that I've put in the description that match in the material and fit. Clearly I was obsessed with this top and I tried it on in so many different variations and I feel like each outfit worked really well in its own way. Even though it's a more intricate piece, this dress down look with the baseball hat ended up being my favorite. It's just the perfect level of elevated and sporty and I'm definitely bookmarking this for the next sporting event. This next one was a little unexpected for me because I've never owned anything like it. But the more I tried it, the more it started to grow on me. It turned out to be really cute after I put some thought into layering. Like this fit with a black workout skirt and puffer. Or with a denim jacket. I tried this asymmetrical midi skirt for a more straight edge, no frills classic look. But then I really hit the jackpot with this satin maxi skirt. It's giving glittery witch meets office holiday party and I'm loving every second of it. this next sweater. This is the crew corset sweater bodysuit in the color taupe. First glance, it's very, very basic, but it's got these ribbed details along your stomach that really cinch in your waist and it makes you look so skinny. The first look with a skirt and knee-high boots is very on the cute and girly spectrum, which definitely has its time and place. But then of course, bring out the leather pants, don't at me, and it's just chef's kiss. All right, meeting somewhere in the middle here is my favorite and comfiest look, those two things probably being highly correlated. This is the Abercrombie relaxed tailored pant and a good old Yankee sad hat. I love mixing and matching a tight top with loose bottoms, something sophisticated with something nonchalant, almost like it happened by accident. I'm starting to think my overall style is just what you would wear to an airport lounge, and I'm not mad about it. So last fall, I signed up for a co-working membership at a nice place in Soho, and I felt kind of bad showing up in airport outfits every single day. So one day I decided to order presentable clothes to be a presentable human being, and this is the byproduct. My very first turtleneck. I know, I know it's kind of insane that it's my very first one, but the reasoning behind it is my body type. So you guys know that I'm petite, but in addition to that, I've always found myself to be apple-shaped or top-heavy. So I've always been told to avoid tops that accentuate my arms. But I'm really glad I decided to branch out and try this one because wearing loose pants really balanced out the focus on the shoulders. And I think the fact that the whole look is monochrome shifts the attention away from parts of the body and rather towards the figure as a whole. It's also helpful to have a necklace that stands out to break up the large block of color up top. Once again, the wide leg pants make an appearance. Woo! All right guys, that's it for this try on haul. I hope you had just as much fun as I did. Don't forget to like and subscribe to be notified when I do another one.